And originally, JWCC was supposed to be a clean, competitive improvement. Now it's showing signs of similar challenges that they had with the old, the previous Jedi project. There's poor Vedner coordination, complex procurement requirements, unclear ownership of outcomes. And this multi-vendor approach that they're taking, which if you don't follow it, they've, they've got multiple vendors in there working on the project or supporting the project. You've got AWS, Microsoft, Google, and Oracle, among others. And that whole multi-vendor approach is proving to be a lot more complicated than expected. And on the one hand, they are going through this process with multiple vendors to avoid vendor lock-in and give themselves more flexibility, which on the surface makes a lot of sense. But they may have taken that pendulum or that continuum too far on, on this, the spectrum of what you want between total vendor lock-in and total flexibility with a bunch of different vendors. Sounds like they may have swung the pendulum too far towards multiple vendors. And that has really slowed things down for them and has caused a lot of these time overruns and budgetary overruns in terms of interoperability issues between systems, confusion over who's responsible for what. And it's also highlighting cultural resistance inside the Department of Defense to shifting from legacy systems. Anytime you've got well-entrenched legacy systems like a lot of government entities do, you're gonna run into resistance